Thanks for staying with us now. So, President Ruru Kenyatta is this morning expected to open a new army barracks in Garissa County. Modika Barracks has been put up for the new 17th Battalion Kenya Rifles were consecrated last year during the Jamhuri Day celebrations in Nairobi. And our very own Sam Gituku is in Garissa now joins us for a live update. Sam, it's great to see you. Do we have some? There we go. Sam, it's great to see you live for us from Garissa. Any f further updates you'd like to share with us? Well, good morning, Zinzi and Trevor. Indeed, it's um, a very hot morning here in Garissa County as you expect the arrival of President Turu Kenyatta, or he'll be sort of uh, unveiling the Modica barracks that has been uh, under construction for the past uh, two or so years. Uh, but essentially, what to understand here is the unveiling of uh, the 17th uh, KR, that is the Kenya Rifles uh, 17th Battalion, that is has to be obviously to be inaugurated today uh, alongside uh, the barracks that you have here, the new ones in Garissa, in the first one uh, in the northeastern region. And what we understand is that uh, this is just one of the initiatives of the uh, Kenya Army to ensure that they are able to position themselves strategically in as far as uh, managing the security situation in the country and bearing in mind of the threat that has been, especially in the in this part of the uh, of the country in this uh, northeastern region, uh, with the um, proximity to Somalia and of course the various missions that have been going on there since 2011 uh, when uh, Kenya went into Somalia under the Operation Linda uh, So it is um, sort of uh, a moment for the president to come and unveil because you may recall that here on the Jamhuri Day celebrations last year, that is in 2018, uh, the president was doing what you may call the consecration of color uh, for the 17th Battalion Kenya Rifles and therefore uh, once he handed over those colors to that um, uh, unit, then it is the responsibility of that unit to go ahead and establish their own camp and this is what has been going on. It has been under construction for the past two years and now this is the moment that they'll be getting that chance to, get in, uh, to, to unveil it. And essentially we do not know the number of officers that will be residing here but you are told it's a good number that is uh, will be in a position to take care of the security interest of the region and not just uh, this area but also to be in a position to guard the country uh, from the threat that uh, comes from uh, the external forces that is in the neighboring uh, Somalia. So uh, looking at the program, the president is expected to be getting here at about 10 o'clock and then he'll go through uh, different events that you'll be looking at. Of course, uh, he'll also be getting to unveil a monument, of uh, the, a memorial monument that uh, is, is within the camp. And thereafter, he'll be in a position to uh, inspect the Guard of Honor. And later on in the afternoon, he'll have a moment to launch a book that is behind me uh, that is um, uh, by the title, The Soldier's Legacy. It, this is uh, the Kenya Army at 55, so it will detail uh, the journey that uh, the Kenya Army has made for the past 55 years since 1963. Uh, so that book, we are told that um, it will be retailing at about 3,000 shillings here, but obviously uh, beyond that, it, um, it, it, it is at a higher price if you to access it from the, uh, the, the rest of the bookshops in the country. But uh, it details the story of the Kenya Army having to go through uh, the, various, the, the, the various moments um, in as far as dealing with um, external as well as internal no issues of security but what we know is that um, uh, with the unveiling of these barracks then finally it gives a home uh, to the 17th Kenya Rifles uh, Battalion uh, Trevor and Zinzi. Well thanks Sam. Um, that's Sam um, Gituku speaking to us live from Garissa. We'll cross over there for any more updates.